In the coming weeks, the U.S. government will send a total of more than $410 billion in direct cash payments to low- and middle-income households. Democrats say the $1,400 payment, combined with a $600 check in December, fulfills their pledge to send $2,000 to help families during the pandemic. How can you get yours? I'm Laura Davison in Washington. Here's what you need to know. and won't get the checks. So this has been an issue of, of much debate and where Congress landed on this is that if you are a single person and earn up to $75,000 a year, or you're a married couple and you file jointly with your spouse and you earn up to $150,000 a year, you will get that full $1,400 payment for you, your children, and anyone in your household. So you know if you're a family of four, uh, you're looking at uh, you know $5,600 for, for all the, the household members that you have. There is a small phase out period. So if you're an individual who earns up to $80,000, you'll get a smaller payment. Above that, you get nothing. Same if you're a married couple and you earn $160,000. If you're between that $150K and $160K, you'll get a smaller amount. And then above uh, that level, you will, you will get nothing. When and how will I get the check? So the IRS has been doing two previous rounds of these. So people are uh, familiar um, in receiving these. So you will likely get this stimulus payment the way you got your previous stimulus payments. So for most people, that means you will get a direct deposit that will show up in your bank account. The IRS has not yet laid out a timeline for, for how quickly they'll start distributing these payments, but it will likely be within a matter of days to a couple weeks from now. So it, that means that, you know, kind of within a couple of days, you will see a, a pending show up in your bank account that the, the amount of the uh, payment will be distributed. If the IRS, for whatever reason, doesn't have your uh, your bank account on file, if you haven't gotten a, a tax refund via direct deposit in the past, for example, they will send it to you either in the form of a check or in a prepaid debit card. This is something that has tripped up people a lot. They got uh, this debit card in the mail. They thought it was a credit card ad, and they threw it away. So very carefully read a mail that you're getting in the coming weeks so you don't accidentally throw away something that is quite valuable. Another note is that if you are a social security beneficiary, you will be getting the benefits the same way that you get your uh, your regular monthly benefits. So for most people, that's uh, again, deposited onto a card, uh, but you know, check your regular benefits for, for this additional payment to come through that way. How will the IRS determine my income? This one is a little bit tricky uh, because right now we are in the middle of the tax filing season. The IRS is, uh, is looking at a couple different years uh, to determine your income. So if you've already filed your tax return this spring, they will be using your 2020 income, the, the data from your most recent tax return. If you haven't filed, they will look at your 2019 income, your income from last year. So this has caused a lot of people to question, you know, wait, if I earned uh, more money in 2020 and wouldn't qualify, but wouldn't based on my 2019, should I wait to file? And the answer is yes, that's totally fine, totally legitimate. Um, if you, uh, you know, earn more in 2020, the IRS is not going to ask you to pay anything back if you are sent a larger payment uh, than your 2020 income would suggest. But what about, you know, if uh, 2021, uh, this current year, is the, is the year that the payments are actually based on? So if you um, get a smaller payment or get no payment at all based on the information that's currently on file at the IRS, turns out you get laid off this year or don't make a lot of money, you can then claim that money on your, the tax return you'll file next spring. So this time next year, uh, there will be a line on your tax return uh, that you can say, hey, I need to get some of, some or all of this $1,400 payment that I didn't get uh, in the initial send out of the, of the money. I'm Laura Davison for Bloomberg News in Washington.